think everything is worth it whenever they have pockets. I'm so out of breath, guys. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're almost done. Almost done. My face is very oily. Tea in haul. Hi, guys. So I've gotten some items from Shein, and my puzzle is here now. It's a really huge and heavy one. This is the very first time I'm buying stuff on Shein and a lot of you have been asking me on whether the items are good or quality is good because there are a lot of mixed reviews out there. So I'm going to be opening all the stuff that I got today and let's see how they fare. So let's get into the haul. Oh, there's one item. What is this one? A bag? I don't remember buying this. I think I did. And then, what is this? There's something. This is something else. Okay. Everything's out. So here is a whole bunch of clothing items and I bought a lot of bucket hats and also a bag here. These are additional items that I got um, for another video. So first up, we have this top which is a Swiss dot one. Oh, I love the color of this like a light pink. You can wear it off shoulder or this way. Oh wow! Maybe couldn't decide. There were a lot of colors for this top. Wow, I really love this top. It's really pretty and the quality is just perfect for like something that's less than $15 for this top. Okay, the only problem is the off shoulder part. I was hoping it would, you know, be able to be worn as a off shoulder but no. Um, Apparently this is too loose for me. I got this in the smallest size there is available. And well, I'm happy to just wear it like that. This is very pretty. It's also a side zip, which is a plus point. On to the next item. It is a crop top. <laughs> First off, um, it's quite see-through as you can see. And I believe it's a tie around top. I need to figure this out later on. I probably need like, what do you call it? Sticky tapes or whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm speechless. I'm just gonna cover. Most of my boobs are actually showing. Okay, I've come to learn by this point that I wore the top wrongly in the first place. Here, I'm trying out different ways to just wear it, but it's just entirely confusing. And my neat tapes keep coming up. How? How did she wear it like that? I really wanted a t-shirt that I can wear on casual days. Very soft material and I like the ripped pattern on this. I'm sweating so much. Ah, this happens every single try on. Ah, I should have turned on the aircon, right? <laughs> so this is the top. It's very comfortable. I can imagine wearing this on a day where I just really want to relax at home or go out somewhere nearby. And it still looks very stylish and I like the contrast sleeves. Yes, this is very pretty. The quality is so... This material is so comfortable. And I was not expecting this material at all. You see it's coming out a bit here but I'm not too anal about that. I really like everything about this top. Oh, I think this is a set. Oh yes, all the items of everything I'll list it down below of how much I got them for so you can have an idea of whether these items are worth the price or not. This is the top and this is the bottom. First off, the quality is actually um, okay. It's quite thin. Oh, and the length is just nice for me. I'm actually very petite, so the fact that this set actually fits me is perfect. First things first, the top actually looks pretty cool. Okay, wait, let me try the pants. Oh, everything. Sorry, my hair actually fits really well. I don't think you can see my underwear under. Can you? Oh wait, I actually can. Ah! See, the fit is perfect for me. Lengthwise, cutting-wise, I can tuck in. So it now looks more like a jumpsuit. I don't know if you can tell, but the quality is like on the thinner side. There's no inner lining or anything. Pants. Here is how it looks like. I like how it has this frills at the end. I can't remember what they call this really. Grab yourself a... Should I wear this hat or this one? Um, this is pretty cool. This is a green item. 
What is this? Oh right, this is a rouge, half sleeve rouge dress. It had this in a lot, lot of colors and I couldn't decide between this or the purple one. It hits my ankles. I think it's really like a dress that you can probably get from Boogie Street. Um, I'm not too sure because I haven't been there for a while now. Quality wise, it's around a Boogie Street like $15 dress. Uh, or even $20. Starting wise, it's okay. The ruching is a bit loose. The good thing is I can wear this all shoulder, unlike the rest. And then I can wear it like that too. And top. This is where the length is. But this kind of a half sleeve is a bit on the cheap looking side. To solve that problem, you just have to tuck it in. Okay, something like that. I'll just wear it with this bag. and. This is a not too bad look. I wouldn't say it's the most perfect, but it's something that I would I can see myself wearing on some days. I believe there will be treading that comes out here and there. But it doesn't affect the dress, so that's alright. So my aim of this haul was to buy a range of items uh, from tops to dresses to different styles like the Swiss dot, half C, the crop tops and coats so that you guys can see a rough idea of what you can get on Shein and what items are good and not. Next we have another crop top. It's like a little waterfall pattern. It's just nice for me. For those who are taller with a longer torso, and this may not look as nice because it would be nicer with a longer side. As I thought, I really like this top. It's really pretty with this scarf cutting. That's how the back looks like. And imagine this, um, being able to wear this for quite a long time. It's just whether or not the colouring would come off. That would be my main question. Funny story, I saw this on ASOS but it was more of a pink um, sleeve but this one is lilac. I really would have much, very much preferred a pink colour one. Based on the cutting, it was slightly big for me but I wanted to get it anyways because it was sold out on ASOS. So, And the reviews seem really good. I just don't know for washing wise, would the black velvet um, colour run onto the sleeves? Ruching here, also ruched sleeves here. The sweetheart neck which is really sweet. So now we have this next item which is super extra as you can see and actually it keeps falling off my shoulders because it is a tad bit too big for me. Personally, I don't really think I would like it very tight either so this is perfect for me. It's just that I can't wear it off shoulder so that's a bummer. It's extreme puff sleeves. A piece where I think I can only wear it a couple of times. Perfect for events. Imagine wearing it with a velvet skirt to match a velvet top over here. Black jeans, even white and even um, denim would look very nice on this. Yeah, you can see it's a little too big. I don't have a lot of stuff here, you know. <laughs> Comes with a side zip as well over here. This is how it originally looks. I, I prefer it tucked in so that it looks more cinched in. And for the very last item, I don't know why I got anything in this color. Oh, it's actually a pants, a half sleeve top. This is actually the front. I prefer to wear this on the back. Uh, one thing I was concerned about buying this is it might look like a hospital gown. Uh, but we'll see. Otherwise, if it looks really good, it could really look like um, a perfect outfit for a resort wear. Excited. Okay, we're on to our last outfit. Um, this is the pants, just to show you how it looks like first before I get the top on. Um, apparently, so it's just a thick high waist, whatever this is for. <laughs> I might wear this. Maybe a pasty hat, like that. Hey, 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 here is the set, the tie bag. Don't, I didn't actually tie it properly, so I'm not sure how it looks right now. Uh, okay, it looks horrible. If you tie it properly, it would look like a slight open bag. You can tuck it in for a more of a jumpsuit look beach shopping outfit to town as well cool look especially for the summer like super love outfits right now that i've shown you guys with the bucket hats right so that's all for the clothes and now it's time for the accessories a sun hat i like that <laughs> One of those uh, Bridgerton ladies going for my picnic. Easy to compact it and keep it. A lot of hats I find 
are very much in the way of my space. I wanted to really give bucket hats a try, so I just decided to get all of them. Just take note that there are some of them that's under the kit section and I almost carted them out. What do you guys think? I actually like this. Um, they have this in three colours. I couldn't decide between the white, black or this blue. And I thought that it would be nice to go for this blue one because number one, it was selling out and number two, it's one that I think re resembles a denim look. Plus two bucket hats that I have, it comes in a set and this is two for $8. This one is a moon with cloud this is of the sun. It wears the, probably like a size S, right? So you can have a rough gauge of how this would fit you. I'm surprised they all fit really well. This is a bag that I know Easy Buy also sells. This is the lace top. I actually just wanted to get for my book this velvet jacket and it was the last piece. There was a purple one which I thought would really suit the IU lookbook but it was entirely sold out in my size. Most sizes actually. So I had no choice but to get either this or the maroon one and this one was only $28 while the maroon was $42. So I was like hmm, obviously I'm gonna get the black because black works as well. This is a purple satin dress that's off shoulder, long sleeve with ruffles to accompany my looks. This bag looks like it would be something that would suit one of the red outfits. In Ayu's look for Hotel de Luna, there's a lot of pearls and lace going on. It's so like I got this one. So giving you guys a little preview, this is the blazer dress that I'll be wearing for the Ayu lookbook from the Shein haul. And it's very pretty, um, fits me perfect. And also the only problem I have is this button doesn't, there isn't a slit for it. So I will have to actually cut that one particular one, but the other buttons are able to button up. So that's really weird of this blazer dress. So that's all for the haul today. Um, my thoughts on Shein overall is honestly really impressed. Oh, I need a book. Overall, I'm really impressed with Shein. All the items have exceeded my expectations or at least met them. They actually fit the price that I'm paying for or even better. You can see them lasting me quite a while. It's not items that only last once. And I look through all the reviews as well. So do look through the reviews and look at photos just to be sure. Um, honestly, this whole Shein haul has been a crazy ride because I shopped for so long uh, and there's still a lot of items in my cart that I have yet to cut out and as you can see I'm sweating a lot right now so I want to quickly end this video um, if you guys do enjoy this video and want more hauls like this do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys the next time bye hey look at this mess that I just created I'm gonna have to pack this all up yep 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 wow Such a mess.